Is light actually able to bend around barriers in air only? Let's do worlds first and check that scale for the globe. This is the test which the Globe vs. Flat debate waited for years. The globe needs this bend because we definitely see too far. Like in this example the horizon should be at 1.2 miles but is behind 9.4 miles. If we are able to make something visible from over there, from here, there'd be the earth bulge in between. Today's physics claims that even visible objects can bend around this obstacle and call that refraction. But all current optical physicists like Kabashi do is checking whether light goes up or down at 100 to 150 meters only, which isn't congruent anyways, and scale this result up to where they assume a curve. But they never checked if the visible spectrum actually can bend around obstacles in air. There are some incorrectly carried out claims only about slopes without obstacles or with liquid gas, as well with incorrect heights. Nicht korrekt durchgeführte Tests, lediglich über Schrägen ohne Hindernis gab es, oder mit Flüssiggas, ebenso mit verfälschter Perspektive. So I took the formula of Chief of Refraction Walter Bislin and tested it small scale. The main important value in the refraction claim is the temperature gradient. The Globe thesis is that a warmer top layer results in traveling light around curves. The calculations revealed that already 70 meters should be enough to supposedly bend light one centimeter when a temperature difference of three degrees Celsius per centimeter is achieved. So I played around with halogen lamps, aluminum foil and saran wrap to store heat. Greetings go out to Global Jesse who got me to this idea. The 230 watts strong halogen lamp is at the top, reflects from the black painted aluminum foil and the heat gets stuck in between two layers of saran wrap. First I cut doors apart, but tests showed that already simple cardboard can create enough temperature gradient. A precise thermistor thermometer which detects the temperature change within a second and got two measurement sensors detects the temperature difference. I fixated both sensors three centimeters apart from each other. For 17 meters, multiple cardboard boxes had to be prepared and attached together. To hold and guide the thermometer and an external battery, I got cable ducts and a fitting metal piece to that, so I can guide the whole thermometer through the setup. I built a little wagon for that. And I will guide them through the ventilation shafts from the cardboard. Here we see the setup from the side. In the middle we place an obstacle which represents earth bulge. The light at the end and the observer height are half a centimeter lower. And then we'll see if the light path really happens like that. Now a host level needed to determine the exact descent of the area, even if it was minimal, to include that into the calculation. 32.4 at the observer and 34.8 where the light will be placed equals 2.4 cm descent. And for half of the distance where the obstacle will be placed, 38.4 for the observer and 43 at the middle equals 1.9 cm descent. So we equalized this gentle slope. 9.6 cm showed to be a good observer height for the phone to see through the two measurement sensors. The barrier slope got equalized and we added half a centimeter. And the initially hidden light has the same height as the observer, so only the slant has to get equalized. Fixating the lamps with copper wire and not cable ties, they melt and create a huge amount of extra work. I know what I'm talking about. And then we can finally start. I had to get extra current from the neighbor because one household isn't enough for 53-230 watts halogen lamps. Here I lifted the light slightly above the barrier manually as a control experiment. We would definitely see the light if it travels above. And here the lamps are already turned on. You can see the construction to get the lens on the correct height. Close the front to raise temperature as max as possible. You can see the barrier on the left, but let's zoom a little. No light. As said, we now move along the construction with the thermometer. You can already see it here. The metal piece didn't fit 100% into the cable duct or the own weight of the thermometer weighs itself a little bit down. I placed the sensors to counteract that, but depending on whether I hold the thermometer or not, the dropping of it isn't 
represent and equally constant. And if the thermometer drops down too much or too long, especially the temperature at the top drops down significantly more. We will see this in a second when one bar disattaches through the vibration and I will need some time to get to the next bar. During this time the thermometer finds itself at a lower height and drops temperature below 9 degrees Celsius. But we saw from the beginning till now that when the thermometer has its correct height, temperature gradient is enough. Here this moment occurs now. It takes some time to go on. The thermometer is lower and the gradient drops. But I did a second try. That one I took more attention that the thermometer remains at the start position. And the temperature difference there was C bottom right 20 to 25 degrees Celsius and minimally slightly less than 11 degrees when the obstacle had to be passed. This has to be laid down with this construction when we want to pass with the temperature sensors. We see this happening in a few seconds. Then we will also see the flashlight again. Additional camera perspective coming, filming the obstacle from the side and the light shines bright, which had to shine as bright or almost as bright the whole time after global theory. It disappears again though after the only half a centimeter higher obstacle gets placed in between the way again here. Now you can go on criticizing my trial, although I showed that the globe paradigm is impossible. Or you can finally turn your view and ask yourself why there's not a single one demonstration of bending objects around curves. Look at the proof. No curve can twist the arms tree. Just take a glance. No magic band, no circumstance. You said it bends, but now I see straight. Dried refraction body won't equate. No illusion, no light delay. Block this block, there's no other way. So anytime I test it, you turn away. Yeah, anytime it's flat, you twist the way. Anytime I check it, you change the game. But the light stays true. No curve to claim. I'm on my knees when I'm packing. This is what I want to lose. Stop force feeding this junk to our children from an early age. Look at the proof. A curve can twist the arms true. Take a glass, no magic band, no circumstance. I need you to understand. Light won't bend at your command. The earth is flat. Try the math, try it every way. But no mirage can hide the day. You bring the numbers, I run them twice. Walter's model won't suffice. No bending round, no hidden side. It's all in view, it's black and white. I'm back in. Look at the proof. No curve can twist the honest truth. Just take a glance. No magic band, no circumstance.